Find the general solution to the given differential equation 4y double prime minus 4y prime plus 26y equals 0. So as always, we need to create our auxiliary equation or characteristic equation such that r equals the amount of derivatives being taken on y, and we leave the coefficients the same. So 4y double prime is 4r squared, 2 for 2 primes, minus 4y prime, so just 4r, plus 26y, since there's no primes, there's no r, equals 0. Unfortunately, we can't easily factor this, so we have to use our quadratic formula. And a equals 4, b equals negative 4, and c equals 26. Fortunately for us, b is even, so we can have a special b prime equal to b over 2, which equals negative 2. And this allows us to take a quick shortcut for the quadratic formula, where it's minus b prime plus minus square root of b prime squared minus ac over a. And this shortens one step. So plugging those variables in, we have minus minus 2, which is plus 2, plus minus square root of negative 2 squared is 4, minus a, 4, c, 26, over a again, which is 4. You could plug in these first three variables into the first. This does the same thing. And this equals 2 plus minus square root of 4 minus 4 times 26, which is equivalent to 4 minus 104 when you put it in a calculator over 4. So obviously that equals 2 plus minus rad negative 100 over 4. Square root of 100 is 10, and we have to factor in the i equal to rad negative 1. So that becomes 2 plus minus 10i over 4. And look at that, we can also divide everything by 2, so it's 1 plus minus 5i over 2. And again, this is the root, so r equals 1 half, when you put it in standard format, plus minus 5 halves i. R has a complex component, so we need to put it in the format alpha plus minus beta i, where alpha is the real component and beta is the coefficient to the non-real component. Given this r here, we have alpha equals to 1 half and beta equals to 5 halves. In this situation, y homogeneous equals e to the alpha t times c1 cosine of beta t plus c2 sine of beta t. We keep c's to allow for an infinite family of solutions, and y homogeneous, plugging in alpha and beta, equals e to the t over 2, or just 1 half t, times c1, cosine of 5 halves t, plus c2, sine of 5 halves t. And that's everything. And this is the last video of our series on homogeneous differential equations. Soon we're going to move on to non-homogeneous equations, as well as Laplace transform, and a couple other topics. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, and I'll see you in the next video.